What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to Small Biz in today's video. We're gonna talk about a company that just took on a $50 million note with a 36% discount <coughs> that must be paid back within 90 days plus interest. So the obvious question of this day post Christmas 2023 is, was this toxic lending at its finest or is this somehow better than millions of shares of dilution. All that and more coming right up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's warm in here. I got it said it looks like it's 72. It feels like it's 82. So if I got a little sweat on my brow, it's because it's awfully warm in here for some reason. I do have a bit of a scratchy throat, but I hope you had a fantastic Christmas day. Before I get into you know who, let me just say that I had a fantastic time yesterday. My sister, she's a year younger than me up the road in a town called Milton. I live in Roswell, Georgia, which is about a half hour north of Atlanta. My beautiful niece is just out of college. She works in healthcare, doing fantastic. My nephew is a freshman in Auburn, and we had a wonderful time, absolutely delicious meal, and the gift I got I'm more excited about than probably anything I've had in 10 years, a crock pot, a slow cooker like some of you say. So in the comments below, I have such fond memories when I was a kid, oldest of five, my sister, three younger brothers, mostly in the fall during football season in the winter. My mom fed five kids, and she'd throw an inexpensive cut of meat, some vegetables from my grandfather's garden, a can of Campbell's soup, a little bit of water, salt and pepper, and it was absolutely to die for. So if there are any crock pot or slow cooker fans out there, think of me tonight. Let me know in the comments below because I'm going to have an absolute feast on your behalf. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And what I hope is less than a 10 minute video, because again, I'm not feeling so well. I don't know if it's because I'm exhausted or it is too effing hot in here, but I did. I want to do a video like I did the last time as a courtesy. I'm not here to make it, uh, fun of anybody during Christmas week. I did my best in the last video to ring the bell because in my honest opinion, you may have seen the all time highs and you know what? 1870. This morning, after getting cut in half on Friday, it was as low as 875 or somewhere around that level early in the pre-market. Last trade, 10 and a quarter. I think I've seen it as high as 10 and a half. Again, it's afternoon here on the East Coast. I'll give you a 25% chance you go up and through. You somehow buck a 75% probability and you become something that you've never been. Because if you look at this stock, it's just, they've issued over 8 billion shares or thereabouts in the last two years since going public. It's spent a majority of its time, I would estimate, probably 60% trading at a dollar or below, and much of that time below 50 cents. So ask yourself, honestly now, do you really think that this is an 18, 25, $50 stock? Do you really think that the people that run this company are going to be able to resist printing millions and based on past performance, billions of shares? Because if you do, as I said in a tweet, then you should be holding and or buying more of the stock this morning at eight and change. But if you're like myself or others who think 1870 is most likely in that second bite of an apple that I gave you when I did that fucking video. And this is going to be the last time I talk about this stock for this year. And if I have my way, none during 2024. I sincerely wish everyone the best. And I want to mention before I analyze the absurdity as far as I'm concerned about this uh, note. Do not waste your time, your energy, and dare I say your karma on shorting this stock. Many brokers are allowing it now. They still don't have the puts. They're going to have them once they do an offering, most likely in the next month or two. But don't waste your time, your energy. Don't carry around the baggage of an eye for an eye. You can't attract prosperity. You can't attract abundance. You want to be up here with peace and love and abundance. You want to be happy. You want to love who you, what you're doing and who you're doing it with, as I try to do each and every day. They're not paying me a fucking dime. I've never had a conversation by email or phone with you know who or anyone that runs that fucking company. Do not waste your time. Do not get into that ditch. Let the one, the almighty, your creator, whatever it is that you call it, take care of that business. There's a price to pay for what they've done, not only with this company, but in the last three or four. 
And at some point, someday, someone's going to pay a heavy fine and or go to jail. And that's not going to be your responsibility to see. So if you're in the camp where you think you got to be buying puts or shorting the stock, give me some fucking thumbs down, you motherfuckers. If you have a conscience, if you have some ethics, if you understand that shorting or destroying the stock is not only going to hurt the employees, which is bad enough, that for the most part have no direct ties to you know who, but think about the people that we've seen in, <coughs> excuse me, on stock twits or Reddit or even on Twitter that are suicidal. We have a gentleman who occasionally pipes up. I'm starting to think something happened. He's a retired guy who put all his money well before he knew about us in the moment. 700,000 was worth less than 10 grand last I heard from him. What about those people? Fuck them. What about the people that are uh, knocking on heaven's door or dancing on the edge? Maybe they don't have families during this time of year. It's bad enough, right? They've lost over 99% of their money and you're somehow going to get even. Instead of fucking getting your cheap motherfucking ass in a Discord for $50 a month at TrySmallBiz.com, I have a 91.4% win rate for this year. Many people in there have already gotten out of the ditch. They've already, uh, in many cases, moved on. I'm moving on too. But before I do, I want to tell you, based on 30 years of experience, half of that as a broker, what I really think of this fucking note. I talked to two of my friends uh, that I was in the business with. We've got almost 100 years combined experience. We have never, ever seen anything more than a 25% discount on a 12-month note. Folks, this is Loan Shark on steroids. This is Pawn Shop times 10. You're giving me $50 million. Oh, wait a second. You're going to give me $32 million of a $50 million loan? And with interest, I got to pay you back $51 million and change within three months? I've never seen it in all my life. So what are they trying to do? What are they trying to say here? I thought in the last 10Q, you had $220 million or thereabouts in cash at a $35 million approximately burn rate per quarter. And that's going to change now that they're in production, which I applaud. They obviously have a 50 to $100 million run rate for next year on these vans. But how the fuck are you going to make any money? How are you even going to pay back the loan? I don't see, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, how you're going to generate $50 million plus in the first quarter to even pay back the loan. And we can talk about these toxic lenders, which, oh, by the way, of the three that they were dealing with, this is one of them who's had legal trouble in the past. So we went from suing them or potentially having them investigated to taking out a $50 million note where they only give us $32 million bucks and we got to pay it back with interest between 10 and 18% inside of three months. I am not here to rain on the longs parade. I've said this before, and I know some of you don't believe me. I could care fucking less. I would love to see the 25% chance it goes up through 18. I would love to see some massive investor from overseas, perhaps the Saudis, come in and say, here's $100 million, here's $200 million, or the U.S. government in an election year. Here's a 50 to 100, $200 million loan. I would love to see it. And I'll take all the fucking pies in the face. Because I'll know that the guy who's suicidal and many others like him might just get some of their money back. All of it, fuck no. But some of it, a lot more than $10 in, in a quarter. Yeah. But I'm also a realist who's willing to put his fucking nuts in the guillotine every damn day and tell you the truth. This is bad. FJ did a one-off. I'm telling you, it's not only eh, it's fucking bad. Because it raises the question, at least for me, do you really have 200 million? Or even if we pull out 35 million in burn rate, let's call it 180 million dollars. Do you really have that? Because if the answer is yes, then why the fuck are you taking on a 50 million dollar note of which you only get 32 million dollars now? 
You're not going to sell enough vehicles, or if you do, it's going to be damn close to break even. So what are we going to do? Are we going to see a $50 million note every quarter where you've got very toxic terms in terms of payback or what you call the cost of capital? They're never going to fucking make it with this kind of financing. If they're trying to make a statement by saying, and I somewhat understand this, in front of the January 22nd deadline for compliance, which they're obviously going to get, they may knock the stock back down to five, six, seven by the time we get to the third week of the month, but it's not going down, in my opinion, under a dollar. But there's a 75% chance, in case you didn't fucking hear me, it's not going up and through 1870. It's going to die a slow death like Lucid, like Neo, like most of the others outside of maybe a Rivian and, of course, a Tesla. Even Ford Motor, which is the last I look at $10.5, $11 a share, has said they're not going to make any fucking money on EVs until 2030. In fact, the whole industry is moving towards hybrids. So if they don't have something other than these one and threes with these types of terms, there's no way they're going to fucking survive more than a couple of years tops. So I would like to have, you know who, come out and tell us, why are you taking this on? Are you trying to show the street that you're not going to dilute? Okay, I somewhat understand that, but my goodness, if you have 175 or 80 million in cash and you take on an outrageous cost of capital of, of basically giving this so-called toxic lender that you wanted to have investigated or willing to walk away from, it's the same motherfucking group. They stole, as far as I'm concerned, $18 million for the privilege of giving out a loan, which they're guaranteed, at least in writing, to get back within 90 days. That's as bad or worse, in my opinion, than responsible dilution. So you know who needs, and I'm, I'm not doing them the privilege because I'm done putting them in titles. I'm done giving them any more airtime than they deserve. But you know who runs that company needs to come out and say, why the fuck are you doing this? If you're long the stock, I'd be lighting up the phone lines. I sold it at 18. I gave you a chance to do it on my last video when I was ringing the fucking bell. But I would be lighting up the phones and I'd be reaching out to the lawyer they have who seems like a decent fella. I'm not certain that everything he has to say is helping the cause, but I don't think he's working against the shareholder. That's my opinion. And I've also said, I'm going to say it again, you don't be wasting your fucking time shorting the stock. Let the universe handle that. Get your fucking ass in our Discord or somewhere else and make it back the hard way, the responsible way, the ethical fucking way. But those of you that insist on carrying those bags, I don't know, ad infinitum to infinity and beyond, ask them, why are you doing this if you got 175 or 80 million? Are you going to be doing this again in 90 days? Is this, are we going to have to do an offering to pay back the fucking loan? They should, they should fucking scrap this fucking idea and get rid of the fucking note altogether if it's me, but they won't. And instead say, We've gotten feedback from shareholders, not me, hopefully some of you, and we're going to do responsible dilution or responsible offering of an equal amount, which would be 5 million shares at 10. And because we have X number of dollars in the bank, 180 million, that'll give us 230 based on a run rate of a thousand vans we expect a hundred million or thereabouts in revenue for 2024 so after this five million dollar offering we don't see any need for dilution until the end of the year and most likely beginning of next and if they're not willing to do that then you owe it to your fucking shareholders to come out and explain exactly why you took on a note for $50 million in change and the fucking toxic lender that everyone was supposed to have investigated is the one who just bent you over this desk all the way in <clears throat> up. It's not, it's not the same ladies unless you, yeah, I know, I know, I fucking know unless you go all the way in and mm, up, right? That last half to three quarters of an in up and out the motherfucking other side. There goes a few more, uh, uh free, uh, freemium. Yeah. Premium members and discords always remember I love you and thanks for watching. <laughs> it's got to be because it's hot in here.